Linux Mint is a free and open source Linux distribution created by this guy. This operating system is really amazing and probably in my opinion it is better than Windows. So in general Linux Mint is one of the Linux distribution. So what are this Linux distribution? Linux distribution is nothing but a flavor of Linux operating system. So so many Linux distributions are available. You might have heard few of them. Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, Rocky Linux, uh, maybe Red Hat Linux. All this Linux distribution, just make sure whatever the things they are good at it, uh, that is being offered in their distribution. And it's just flavor of Linux. Nothing more, nothing less. So is Linux Mint is best? Probably. But let's talk about Windows first. I have been using Windows for few years. Uh, the thing with Windows was it was the go to operating system of uh, anybody who just want to get started with the gaming probably. So I was using Windows. Then after using it for maybe two, three years, uh, I understood that I need to get into coding. And the thing with Windows was uh, it used to be very slow back in when it was Windows 8.1 or uh, probably Windows 10. It used to take lots of resource of your hardware and uh, when lots of resources have been taken by operating system, you won't be able to run any kind of coding software in it. So all this coding software, maybe Android Studio or maybe some kind of IDE which you might be using, they take lots of RAM and processor resource. But in Windows, it already takes lots of resource. So that time we won't be able to do anything much other than just opening up Chrome and seeing YouTube. And that also used to be very slow because that was in hard disk, not SSD. Nowadays, everyone uses SSD. That's why everything will be faster than how it was before in HDD but with windows it used to be very worst so i was not able to code then i switched to linux that is linux mint and the moment i switched to it i started feeling very good and i started getting very good in coding also because the options were using ubuntu which is another type of linux distribution and ubuntu has weird interface which i used to not like back then and Linux Mint was looking most like Windows only. So I didn't feel any kind of difference in it that uh, I'm using something else only. I was just using whatever the software which I wanted to use. Everything used to work fine and uh, Linux Mint rocked my day. Eventually, I upgraded my hard disk to SSD and it started to run even faster. So Linux Mint was the one of the top notch operating system. And whenever I got started with coding, the best uh, thing was Linux Mint supported me to even become better at it because I used to code every single day in it and there was no any kind of distraction in it. Whatever I wanted to install it used to get installed and there used to be not any problem in terms of installation or anything like that. And eventually I took Macbook and I started using it for my coding environment and Linux Mint was still I was using for uh, just lightweight stuff whatever the linux things i wanted to do maybe learning server things or maybe some watching movies and all that and all i used to do in linux so many people who say that you can't use linux for day-to-day -day activities i used to do it i used to use it just for watching movies and uh, probably some kind of uh, browsing in chrome or something like that so Linux works fine for all those kind of activities. And I remember I even used to do PPT and Word things in it uh, using LibreOffice. And that also used to be flawless because it's best open source software which is out there. And using it alongside with Macbook uh, was amazing because whatever the terminal commands which was running in Macbook, same thing used to be run on Linux Mint also. So there won't be any kind of much difference in it because both used to use bash only so it's just one and only same just operating system is linux mint and mac os here so later on that linux machine which had linux mint in it uh, stopped working so obviously i had no option but to use macbook only and eventually i bought one windows computer that is windows laptop also and i am using it currently this uh, all these videos and all i'm making it using this particular uh, windows laptop i have here and the thing was 
in this particular windows i didn't install linux mint because only reason was in linux we won't be able to play any kind of game which is good if you are just getting started in coding because you don't want any kind of distraction now i'm fine with whatever the operating system i use i would like to use linux mint but uh, at the moment i'm using windows only in it and if i am going to move back to mac os that time i probably can uh, think of uh, putting linux mint in it and using because there won't be any kind of problem with linux mint it's lightweight operating system it's open source and all the updates are like absolutely fine and more than that what do you require when you, on your laptop probably gaming which you can play it using your console or even some other pc which you might be having in your house because those require a dedicated hardware it's not like you can use one normal machine and play games in it that's not possible in linux also lots of gaming options are coming up but they are not as quite good that's why i'm using windows at the moment but uh, whenever i get the opportunity i will surely move back to linux mint because it's one of the amazing operating system out there so you might want to try it you just install virtual box in your laptop or computer whichever you are using and just install linux mint iso from uh, linux mint's website you might want to learn it because it's good if you are learning it if you want to know why learning linux is important here is the video to it so don't forget to watch this video and don't forget to subscribe me also if you have any doubts just put it in the comment box i am happy to reply to it that's it for this video guys and see you in the next video bye bye